Hey you guys, this is gonna be a reading for Water Sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I'm Mandy, this is Luke Red Tarot. Okay, so the first song I got for y'all is Tearing Up My Heart in Sync. So that might mean something to you, it might not. <laughs> okay, uh, somebody feels like they missed the opportunity here with you with this Four of Cups coming out first. It's tearing up my heart when I'm with you, but when I'm something. Ooh, death, Scorpio energy. So that's y'all energy coming out. Hmm. All right, what about it? I, this keeps happening, y'all. What? Maybe I just need to get my set up together here. Okay. All right, so next, tearing up my heart. Stuck with you. Okay. Some of y'all might be stuck with somebody and you're over it. Over it. <laughs> Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, okay. The High Priestess, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces energy. Hmm. What's striking you out? Okay, uh, four of cups and the four of coins. Somebody's definitely not going to let go of you. Um, something about they got a lot of time on their hands, okay? They're just watching you. Page of swords, okay? Yeah, they're watching you online a lot, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Stuck with you. Could be a Pisces, okay? Could be an Aquarius here. The fool. Hmm. What about the fool? Three of cups, okay? Somebody... So, ooh, yes, <laughs> somebody might have got stuck in a contract with somebody. I don't know. Okay, what we got going on here with this fool and this three of cups? Uh, the lovers, Gemini energy. Okay, a choice. Somebody's somebody might be needing to make a choice about some kind of home situation here with the four of wands coming out. 34 43 could be significant. Oh, that's. Four, four, four. Okay, y'all's angels and spirit guys are definitely around you. Uh, but I feel like it's got a, something to do with your stability going on here. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay. Two of Cups, something to do with your, um, definitely your love life here. With the Two of Cups and then the lovers. Well, yeah, yeah. Two of Cups. Yeah, unless this is about a brother or sister, but I feel like this is about, yeah, a lover. Because the lovers can be brother and sister, too. So, can, so the four of wands can be family. So I'm just trying to see here. But yeah, it feels like a love situation, not so much a family situation here. Um, the high priestess, again, y'all are very intuitive here, okay? Something's going on that's become a heavy burden. Okay, ten of wands. Somebody's... Wanting to, hmm. Well, either somebody's wanting to get single or somebody is single and they're tired of being single, okay? Maybe 94 could be significant. Um, 49 could be significant here. Okay. The Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Queen of Swords might be... Okay, so Scorpio could be dealing with an air sign here. All right, uh, who's the Queen of Swords? Who or what is the Queen of Swords? Aquarius energy, okay? Um, the star. Somebody, somebody could be healing from dealing with some kind of narcissist situation, okay? So um, a relationship could have ended with that death card there, and then you could have gotten single with this Nine of Pentacles. So you focused on your home and your... Uh, yeah, like I said, it could be brother sister situation. All right, so three of pentacles. Things are coming together, okay? Things are coming together for y'all. Um, like goals and stuff like that. Some kind of goal that you have had is coming together with the six of pentacles. Y'all been definitely working on your money. Six, nine, or ninety six could be significant. Y'all could be a cancer for sure. Um cancer keeps coming up and scorpio so this this reading is definitely got a lot of scorpio cancer energy coming out 
but it's for Pisces as well. All right, yeah, you guys are like getting into where you're making enough money to be able to, um, well, that's weird. All right, <laughs> okay, so we got, as I'm saying, as I'm getting ready to say, you got enough money coming in now where you got extra to do extra stuff with. Then we got the five of pentacles and the seven of pentacles coming through. So we got the five, six, seven of pentacles. So I feel like this is saying well, the five of pentacles, that's about lack, not having enough. The seven of pentacles is about watching your investment. So with the moon here, Cancer, Pisces energy, and then we got Taurus energy over here. I feel like it's saying be careful with your spending. Be careful with your spending, okay? Or what's the moon? Let's just see. That's what I was getting, but let's just make sure. <clears throat> the six of wands and the hermit. Okay, so that might mean that, yes, that's, that's what it was meant to say. Um. Okay, but let's just see. Six of wands and the hermit. Is that confirming what I said or no? <clears throat> yeah. Be careful with your spending, okay? Because we got the nine, two nines came out and this ace of wands with the justice. Libra energy, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But be careful with your spending right now. That's like three, nine, nine, nine because two nines equals 18. So that's another nine. Hmm, cycles. Okay. The King of Pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all are worried about money a lot here. Oh, man. I had this weird dream, and I don't even... I can't even remember what it was now. I, I got to start writing down my dreams, but I remember seeing that... That rabbit. And I remember thinking that was a message for y'all, but I cannot remember, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Eight of Swords. Somebody is really... Uh, worrying about money right now a lot okay the hermit virgo energy and the magician um well so you guys might have already been being real careful about how much money you're spending okay gemini virgo energy here with the magician and the hermit maybe i've been staying in so yeah staying in not going out because you're focused on your money on saving it and strategizing with the five of swords because maybe you you got regrets about spending too much in the past or something like that. Y'all could have also just ended a situation with a either a spouse or a baby mama or daddy. 87 might be significant. 78, okay. We got the eight of cups and the seven of wands. Yeah. Somebody might have left the home and then like... Shoot. Somebody... Somebody, okay, let's see. What's the two of pentacles? Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, y'all went through a lot here. Y'all had to fight for your position. Y'all had to fight. You had to fight this king of wands, or either you are the king of wands, okay? Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Y'all might have y'all might have been fighting a situation with a um Libra, because I'm seeing or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. That could have been yeah, y'all could have had a family together. This person could have been juggling. Okay, what's the two of uh two of coins? Yeah, this person the ace of swords came out when I said this person could have been juggling, so 45 or 54 could be significant, okay? But um, some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all are definitely thinking about this person, okay? Like, yeah. Or now this person I feel like is thinking about y'all, okay? Yeah. This person feels left out in the cold and they feel like... Mm, what's the four of swords and the five of pentacles? What's the four of swords and the five of pentacles? Like, I feel like this person's sick over the uh, the fact that y'all split up. Four of swords, five of pentacles. 
Eight of Wands. They're gonna try. They might try to move back in towards you, or maybe I. I didn't mean to say like say it like that, but maybe they will try to move back in. Okay, if they were living there, because I did see a situation about a house coming up. This person could have been dealing with some addiction with the Four of Pentacles. Okay, the Emperor Aries. Um, let's see here. What is this Eight of Wands with the Emperor? Ooh. 95 or 59 could be significant okay so we got the empress coming out right after the emperor messages about a marriage might be coming through or either a marriage splitting up okay um the nine of cups this is gonna make somebody happy and somebody sad okay because we got two different energies here. okay so i kind of feel like this empress is gonna be like la, da, 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 dancing around and this emperor here, who could have been a narcissist, because I think we did. Did we have the, I don't know. We got the magician coming through a lot, so that's kind of, but I don't know if we had the king or queen of swords come out yet. Yeah, we did. Okay, so with the queen of swords and the emperor, that definitely could be somebody who was kind of controlling, possibly. Um. Okay, so empress... I feel like this is going to be Empress energy here. This Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, maybe freedom in some kind of way. And then this Emperor who was trying to control this situation. This could be just a person in a position of power that was abusing their power. But you guys are, and I just seen 44, you guys are about to um, get some justice in this situation. It might have been messing with your money. Yeah, definitely. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to pull a few cards from um, the two decks I got combined, the Major Arcana. So, Destiny. This is, you know, things that are destined, okay? Or, and it could also come out like something to show um, a Zodiac sign you're dealing with. The Hanging Man. Wow, that's crazy because before I even... Uh, the other Hanging Man card was at the bottom of the deck... When I picked it up, and I was going to say, some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces, or you could be a Pisces watching this. Well, it's for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But the other Hanging Man card was at the bottom of the deck. Okay, but what I feel like it means for y'all, that Hanging Man, either one of y'all is a Pisces that's watching, or this could be that this marriage kind of had y'all stuck or this relationship had y'all stuck in some kind of way. Okay. Let's see. What else? Could be a Scorpio and a Pisces. Or definitely could be a fire sign involved. The tower. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be abrupt. Okay, with that eight of swords, somebody might be calling the police on somebody. Not necessarily, but yeah, I feel like somebody might be about to sit their ass down <laughs> uh, for causing some problems here. Okay, so this is different messages for this kind of went off in another story here, but hmm, the chariot in reverse. Cancer energy. Let me see what else. So maybe the. Wait a minute. The hangman, Pisces energy. Maybe somebody thought they were gonna get the car and they're not in a divorce or something. I seen fourteen fourteen on the clock, and it's gonna come as a shock to somebody. Yeah, there could be an investigation going on with all these hermits coming through. Not necessarily for everybody, though. The Hierophant. Yeah, somebody could have, have a private investigator watching somebody here. Taurus energy. <laughs> Y'all be careful. <laughs> yes. The sun. Okay, yeah, somebody's trying to bring something to light here, okay? Uh, Leo energy, something that happened in a car, maybe. Or it's about a car. Maybe it's just uh, some kind of court shit about, you know, something happened with a car. I don't know. 
Y'all might know better than me. Okay, because it's your situation. But let's see how long that 15 minutes. Um okay, I'm gonna pull a few more cards for y'all from this other mixed deck I got. And then let's see. You know what? Oh, somebody's about to tell somebody to kiss their ass though. Okay. Ten of Swords. Well, this card can also represent somebody having to put their hands behind their back. So, ooh, I don't like that energy. Yikes. No, we rebuke it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull some cards from my, uh, what you call it? My, my Oracle card that I made. I'm trying not to mess up my nails. It seems like it takes them three days to damn dry. And I mess them up every day. Okay. No. I see the word no. Or own. Is it own or no? Ooh, somebody blocked by spirit and their ancestors. Okay. I see somebody could be dangerous. Yeah, I could be dealing with a dangerous person here. Oh, abuse their position. I said somebody abused their position. Excuse me. Somebody abused their position for sure. Silence is the answer. Go silent on this person. Or maybe y'all did go silent on that person that was abusing their power. You are dehydrated. Drink some water. No, I don't know what the no is about. No, okay, that person was blocked, okay? That's why their answer was no. Okay, y'all yeah, remember with the flashcards, this could be a message for, you know, everybody could get a different flashcard. For you, it might not be, but one of the flashcards for you, it might be all of them. Okay, so just keep that in mind. This is a general reading for entertainment, okay? If you want a personal reading, then you can email me here, lucared44 at icloud.com. Also, this is my um, TikTok, you guys, if y'all want to check out my TikTok. And this is my IG, if y'all want to screenshot that or something. This is my Cash App. I usually take uh, payments for my readings through Cash App. Um, they're $30 right now. Whoever goes ahead and pays, you get your reading before anybody else. So you can email me, but it'll be quicker if you just go ahead and pay. And please be careful of somebody messaging you saying they're me. I'm not going to message you. I'm not going to reach out to you first. I might follow you on Instagram or TikTok, but I'm, I won't DM you talking about, do you want to get a reading? If somebody does that, it's not me. And I guarantee you their cash app is not going to be the same as mine because it's not me. And they may say their email is lucaredtarot at iCloud.com, but I guarantee you, they won't email you from here because only I can do that. <sighs> I've seen their tactics. They actually call them, messaging my daughters and friends, okay? So that's crazy. Okay, some of y'all are dealing with a slumlord. Okay, this person could possibly be dangerous or allowing dangerous or unfit positions in your, like, where you live at. That might be the person that abused their position, okay? Some of y'all could be a chef or a business owner, um, have a food truck or be a server, a driver, deliver food. Something to do with restaurants here. Y'all might have something to do with restaurants or maybe y'all just want to go out to eat. I don't know. <laughs> okay, this person is a handler that became obsessed. Stalking. Ooh, I was saying somebody, it's a, it could be an investigator involved here who got obsessed with somebody. So somebody here was investigating somebody and got obsessed with them. Okay, that's weird. Okay, uh, butterflies. I don't know why that could be significant. And shout out to Hawaii, King Joey Tarot. He changed his name to Psychic as Fuck Tarot, I believe. So y'all check him out. Um... There could be a red car riding by your house, or you might know somebody with a red car. It could be an X, or their name could have an X, Y, or Z in it. But somebody was blocked by spirit and the ancestors. Access denied to you. Or you could even have a red car. Okay, they don't want to admit it. The relationship 
is over. It has been for it has been for a while now. The relationship is over. It has been for a while now. They don't want to admit. Okay. Y'all are warriors. Okay. Somebody could have been a soldier in this life or a past life, or you could be dealing with a soldier. Something was the last straw. Something that just happened. Somebody like that's the last straw. Somebody is tall. Okay. Okay. God, goddess energy, kings, pharaoh energy, queens. Okay. Cool. They think you were a beautiful mistake. No regrets. Oh, someone got a tarot reading on your life purpose? No. Somebody is a singer, a vocalist, or a talented singer or vocalist. Somebody got a tarot reading on your life purpose. Royal bloodline. Wow. That was interesting. Okay. Um, anything else? Um, all right. Y'all y'all might want to check out those other couple of readings. I had to do two readings because uh, one of them, um, it stopped recording in the middle of the reading. So, yeah, it'll be, I think, the two readings before Fire and Water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to pull a couple cards from the past life deck since it says something about royal bloodline and someone got a tarot reading on your life purpose. Okay, so what can I get a couple um, past life cards? Let me see if I can get one more song for you guys. Run. One, one Republic. Run. Y'all might like that song. Wars and battles. Ooh. Warrior. I told y'all one of y'all was a warrior in a past life. Authority figures. Ooh. Some of y'all could have been like a, a general or a, something like that in a past life. Or your... Or maybe you've got an ancestor watching over you that was this warrior in a past life. And they were, um, they could have been a chief of some kind or a, a general in the military. I don't know. You guys will know probably. Or if you don't, no, you do maybe. Okay. Trust and faith. Trust and faith are going to be a big, a big thing in your life. Whoa transportation you're gonna do a lot of traveling or you did in your past life i meant to say wow yeah native american okay either y'all were native american in a past life or you had a baby with someone that was native american imprisonment or slavery hmm yeah so some of you guys might have been either had um ancestors who were caught and imprisoned during a war in this past life, okay? Could have been Native American. Wow. The area where I live at, um, a lot of that went on. So I wouldn't be, I'm not surprised I'm picking that up. But I hope this helped you guys in some type of way or form. Please hit the like, hit the notifications bell set to all, and please subscribe. I appreciate you for being here. Thank you.